In this video, I will work through a previous year's math investigation for grade 11 based on the quadratic formula and nature of roots. This is in fact last year's math investigation from the Department of Education. In this video, I will go through part A and in the next video, we'll work through part B. Here it says solve the following equations by using the quadratic formula and answer the subsequent questions. So let's start off by writing down the quadratic formula. We're now going to substitute in our values for a, b, and c. Bear in mind that the a value is the coefficient of x squared, which in this case is 12. The b value is a coefficient of x. Here we have positive 5. And the c value is the constant, which is negative 2. This is what we now get. Once we substitute, it's important to actually simplify first before getting answers. Doing that, we get negative 5 plus or minus, and underneath the square root, we have 121. In the denominator, 2 times 12 gives us 24. Now, we are aware that we're going to get two separate answers. First, working with the plus, we get x is equal to 2 over 3. And working with the minus, we get negative 1 over 4. So these are our two answers. We'll now go on to the subsequent questions. So the subsequent questions are based on roots. And what's important to understand is that the quadratic formula allows you to calculate the roots. But what the roots actually are, are the x-intercepts on the graph. Basically, it's where the graph cuts the x-axis. And to think of a quadratic formula as a graph, it is actually a parabola because it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. We have something called the discriminant, which allows us to determine the nature of roots. So the discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And the reason why it looks familiar is because it comes from your quadratic formula. It actually lies underneath the square root. That's where it's located. Now, if the value that you get for the discriminant is less than zero, then the roots are non-real, meaning that there are no roots. The graph does not intersect the x-axis. If the discriminant is equal to zero, then it means that the roots are real and equal. What that means is that there's only one root, so the graph only cuts the x-axis once. And in that case, the turning point of the graph lies on the x-axis. But if the discriminant is greater than zero, then the roots are real and they are unequal. So we have two different roots. Our graph cuts the x-axis at two different points. Hence, we say that they are unequal since it's two different values. So to answer these questions, we need to understand what our discriminant is equal to. And if we scroll up, we are, lo we are looking for the part where we have b squared minus 4ac. So it's the substitution and we notice that we had 121. That is actually what the discriminant is. So here we see that the discriminant is equal to 121. And this means that the discriminant is greater than zero. Now that we understand what the discriminant is, we should be able to answer these questions. Firstly, are the roots equal or unequal? When the discriminant is greater than zero, remember from the table that I showed you, the roots are unequal. B says, are the roots rational or irrational? Now remember in maths that rational means fraction. So if we scroll back up to the roots that we had, we had 2 over 3 and negative 1 over 4. Those are clearly fractions, so our roots are rational. Are the roots real or non-real? They are real, they exist. The only time when the roots are non-real is when the discriminant is less than 0. We can now go on to the second equation. 
So for equation 2, we're given 3x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 0. And it's the same format where we need to get the roots by using the quadratic formula. So let's start off by writing down our formula. We're now going to substitute a, b, and c. In this case, a is 3, b is 6, and c is 1. So substituting and simplifying, this is what we get. Now we end up with negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 24 over 6. Let's now get our values. We're first going to work with the plus and then with the minus. These are the values that I get. x is equal to negative 0 0.18 or x is equal to negative 1.82. So there were no fraction options for these answers. They were just long decimals, and I've rounded them off to two decimal places. We can now go on to the subsequent questions, which is the same a, b, and c from before. So to answer this, we need to identify our discriminant. There's b squared minus 4ac. Here's our substitution, and the value of the discriminant is 24. Since it is 24, it means that our discriminant is greater than 0. Firstly, are the roots equal or unequal? Clearly, they are unequal. They are not the same value. Are the roots rational or irrational? So we did not have fraction options for these answers for, for equation 2, meaning that they are irrational. Are the roots real or non-real? So they are real, they do exist. Now let's go on to equation 3. Here's equation 3. We have x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. So we're going to get the values of x by using the quadratic formula. You can actually pause the video and try it out on your own. I'm going to go ahead and put the answers up. So now you can check if you had the same thing. I wrote the quadratic formula. I substituted. When I simplified underneath the square root, it gave me 0. Now, that gave me the same value as both of my x's here. So I have x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 3. And sometimes this can happen. So what we notice is that underneath the square root where that represents the discriminant, here the discriminant is 0. So in the subsequent questions, we know that what lies underneath the square root represents the discriminant. And in this case, our discriminant is equal to zero. Are the roots equal or unequal? There's only one case where the roots are equal, and that is when the discriminant is zero, which is what we have. So here they are equal we can clearly see that they are the same value. Are the roots rational or irrational? 3 is a rational number. Are the roots real or non-real? They are real since they do exist. Let's go on to equation 4. So we now have question 4, that is 2x squared plus 4x plus 10 equals 0. I'm going to go ahead and write out the quadratic formula, substitute and get the values of x. You're most welcome to pause the video and try it out on your own. So here's the thing with this equation. Once we substitute and we simplify, we end up with a negative underneath the square root. And we know that the square root of a negative value does not exist. There's no solution. We get math error on the calculator. So we can say no solution or undefined. And since that represents our discriminant, here we see that our discriminant is less than zero. And when the discriminant is less than zero, that is when the roots, they're non-real. They don't exist. Okay, so your graph does not cut the x-axis at all. Based on that, we're now going to answer the subsequent questions. Firstly, are the roots equal or unequal? There are no roots. We couldn't get any values, so they don't exist. So that question is not applicable. There's no answer for it. Are the roots rational or irrational? Again, there are no roots, so this is not applicable. Are the roots real or non-real? They are non-real. So that, that gets us to the end of 
part one under section A. Section A here was broken up into three parts. In the next video, I will go through part two.